the steady state actually um, refers to changes that were already taking place regardless of COVID or otherwise. And uh, regulating technology is perhaps the greatest challenge for any government. Uh, we are not short of examples. Look at China and see how Ant Financial has suddenly be, you know, been sort of um, faulted for failing so badly. Uh, there is also the promise action for some of the other big names. Or in the US, the issue of data privacy with uh, WhatsApp, Facebook. My personal view is that unless absolutely necessary, the government should not lead in technology because I believe that proactive introduction of rules tend to stifle innovation. But that's, to say that, uh, that's not to say that government should not do anything. The government should instead track very carefully and closely with the private sector, perhaps offering the incentive that um, if there is collaboration, there won't be harsh regulations that are sort of introduced belatedly. The other point which I would like to make also to the credit of um, the government to some extent uh, is the uneven distribution of talent because technology promises productivity and the ability to create new products and services that can exploit lacuna in regulatory frameworks in other words beat the system uh, and they are very rewarding careers as far as the private sector is uh, concerned so it is not surprising that talent will flock to private enterprises more than government. So government will not get its fair share of talent. Mm -hmm.